girlfriend named Keisha. He proposed to Keisha her words in a September 2011 interview. He proposed to Keisha before he even went into prison. They oh, were wow. already engaged. They got married wow. in April. And in the time that he got sentenced and was wow. taken to prison, so, Keisha actually moved. So Jada tried to act like he, he proposed to her when that nigga was already married. That's crazy. If, that, if that's not crazy, I don't... All y'all that's defending her, something wrong with y'all. Like, some is... Some is like really wrong with y'all. For y'all to defend all this bullshit and all the evidence adding up saying she full of shit and y'all to keep defending her. Some is mentally, like mentally wrong with y'all. That's all I, I, I'm just saying. the timeline to prove it and i'm literally in the middle of moving that's why i look raggedy but i cannot handle these fucking lies anymore jada is currently on her pay attention to me tour and she is making all these wild claims including that tupac proposed to her while he was I'm at rikers screaming. really the math I'm isn't screaming. mathing so let's take a look tupac was convicted of sexual assault charges on february 8th 1995 from there he was sent to rikers prison only to be transferred less than a month later the Clinton Correctional Facility. And she specifically said she went to see him. This was not on the phone. The book when I go to see him in Rikers, probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in and having to leave him there. Cool. So prior to going into Rikers, Tupac already had a girl. When I heard that, I had a feeling she was woofing. I mean, just all the stuff going on, she, she woofing, bro. She... <laughs> Ain't no way she telling the truth about none of it. None of, I mean, she probably telling the truth, but on um, the Tupac shit, uh, she just she just talking just to talk. And I believe that's Tupac's girlfriend right there. Girlfriend named Keisha. He proposed to Keisha her words in a September 2011 interview. He proposed to Keisha before he even went into prison. They oh, wow. were already engaged. They got married. Wow. In April, and in the time that he got sentenced and was wow. taken to prison, so, Keisha actually so moved. So Jada tried to act like he, he proposed to her when that nigga was already married. That's crazy. If that if that's not crazy, I don't. All y'all that's defending her, something wrong with y'all. Like some is some is like really wrong with y'all. For y'all to defend all this bullshit and all the evidence adding up, saying. She full of shit, and y'all to keep defending her. Some is mentally, like mentally wrong with y'all. That's all I, I. I'm just saying. Moved closer to be by him and be by the prison, and saw him on a near daily basis. When he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. So you're telling me that in the three to four week window yeah, that he crazy. was at Rikers engaged to another woman who had moved closer to the prison and was there almost every day, Tupac proposed to Jada. But hey, Jess, you might be saying to yourself, Tupac wasn't known to be a one woman man. He was, he was no angel. Fair enough. Let's see where Jada was during February of 1995, which was, as we've already established, the only time she would have been able to see Tupac at Rikers since he was only there for less than a month. You see, Jada had already met Will Smith in 1994 on the set of Fresh Prince for Bel-Air, but Will Smith was married, and so nothing happened between them. But in February of 1995, Will Smith was served divorce papers there. by his oh, wife. Shit, Five days between them, before you see Tupac at Rikers, since he was only there for less than a month. You see, Jada had already met Will Smith in 1994 on the set of Fresh oh, Prince for Bel-Air. There's no way you're saying you're almost every day. Tupac proposed window that he was at Rikers engaged to another woman who had moved closer to the prison and was there almost every day. Tupac proposed to Jada. But hey, Jess, you might be saying to yourself, Tupac wasn't known to be a one-woman man. He was he was no angel. Fair enough. Let's see where well, Jada why? was during... But that don't make no sense. I don't know. I don't know. I never even heard of a nigga proposing twice. Niggas barely want to propose anyway. I don't think nigga proposed twice. Like, what? That don't even make sense. Like, make that make sense. She lying. She is lying. 
in February of 1995, which was, as we've already established, the only time she would have been able to see Tupac at Rikers since he was only there for less than a month. You see, Jada had already met Will Smith in 1994 on the set of Fresh Prince for Bel-Air, but Will Smith was married, and so nothing happened between them. But in February of 1995, oh, was Will Smith was served divorce papers by his wife. Five days later, on February 19th, Will called Jada and said, are you single? And she said, yep. Will said, we're together now. Jada said, cool. And she immediately flew to L.A. She flew. How do that work? How do that work? Y'all just, a nigga just called and said, hey, we together. And y'all, y'all just say y'all, that's why y'all relationship weird. Because y'all relationship kind of fake from the start. Motherfucker called you, said, hey, you single? You said, yeah, oh, we together now. What? Like, well, how? Huh? Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't went on the date, nothing. I don't, I'm confused right now. I am definitely confused. Hopefully I get that confused by the So immediately video. that when he called her, she was in Maryland at a brand new house she bought. And she never spent a single night in her new house. That's how immediately she flew to L.A. Jada, when, in all that time, did you visit Tupac at Rikers and get this fucking proposal? And for the record, Keisha and Tupac stayed married for about 10 months. They got their marriage annulled about four or five months after wow. Tupac was released from prison. He was bailed out by Suge Knight. It wasn't long after that that he met Kadada Jones. Kadada Jones is the daughter of legendary Quincy yeah, Jones. But it looks a little recognizable. That's the one from the movie. Yeah, that's that's the one from the movie. So yeah, I'm I'm yeah, Jada lying. Well, you may know her sister, Rashida Jones, who played Karen on The Office. Kadada and Tupac were living together and engaged when Tupac was shot and killed. Kadada was the one that was there with him at the hospital the night he died. Kadada was handed yeah, his, his bloody him. clothes. She was the one who told him, we all love you, before he slipped into a coma and never woke up. Keisha spoke with Tupac several days before he died, because even though they, their marriage was annulled, they still remained good friends. And I can't help but notice that all of the women who are actually part of his life in a meaningful way are the ones that have just kept quiet. They've kept silent. They've That's kept their memories to, to themselves and book. not tried to use a dead man as their limelight. And the person who's crazy, squawking bro. about him the most is making she claims that can't even crazy. be verified and don't make sense from the perspective oh. of a verifiable timeline. Oh. I see why we love you. Why we love he needed her. a rock. Love her. Because of our friendship and because of everything we I had been through her. together, he just wanted to feel that solidified foundation. There's so many people in that position don't have married. support. Right. None at all. None. Crazy. You know. She is big. She, 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 she did get the best but not from Jada because I was her own cap, words she that him and Jada were pretty much humping all over the world. They were traveling constantly from the time, the first three months they were together all over the world. So Tupac did get some great support, I imagine, from his wife. Who moved closer to be with That's him crazy. and visited him every day. And why do I care? Because I'm Gen X. And like any good Gen X person, I grew up on Tupac. We all remember this going down. We all remember where we were when we heard that Tupac got shot or that he died. We all had this fucking hat from Poetic Justice walking around looking like newsies, slinging newspaper about the Great Depression and FDR. And we're all just sitting here watching Jada spout these lies being like, oh do you think no one remembers? It's Will Clark, we all remember. Pepperidge it. Farm remembers, Jada. He's just letting her do it. Experience real modern warfare in the free online action game War Thunder. Featuring tanks, aircraft. Nah, 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 see? What I'm saying is Will fought. Is Will fought. That's crazy. That's crazy. She did all that lying. This this be the problem. She got the same problem politicians got. Uh, she act like the internet don't exist and people can't do research. You know what I'm saying? That'd be the same problem politicians be having because they act like, oh, the internet don't exist. Uh, well, they ain't gonna say that, but motherfucker, the internet exists. People can do research. People can look up the shit that you said in the past. 
You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing that's happening with her right now. She act like people can't look up what happened in the past. See how easy she was able to put this video together by a few types in on Google uh, to correspond with the fuck she was saying? Jada is crazy. But like I said, it's Will fault because the nigga, the nigga don't get his house. He don't got his house in order.